Welcome to the Top Gun Show. Today we have Yvette Barreto, uh, the project, the director of project management of channel sales for TPX Communications, my new employer. Yes. So uh, welcome, welcome to TPX and welcome to the show. Thank you. That's right. Happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. So let, let's start um, by explaining what a channel say, what the channel sales division is at TPX. We reach customers either with direct salespeople that walk in with a satchel and say, oh, I have all these TPX products to sell you, or we have the indirect channel or channel, which is what you you know, run your team to take care Correct. of, right? Director yes. of project management. You have Correct. about 25 people on your team Correct. or something, right? Yes. Exactly. So the, the indirect channel goes in and says, instead of here's what I have to sell you, they say, tell me about your business. And they have access to a, a myriad of suppliers and carriers. And then if that customer has that need for the products and services of TPX, it becomes a TPX customer. Correct. Right? Correct. So describe what you do with your team when a sales broker, uh, an indirect channel sales broker, finds a customer that TPX is the perfect solution for them. And they do a quote and how, how do they engage you and what services do you do for that? sales broker and the customer. Got it, okay. So we actually, we partner with all um, our agent channel, right? So we work as a team. Uh, once we receive orders or orders or large projects, we take those and we work um, for with the agent mm -hmm. and with the customer to provide the best service. So we're making sure that we're holding all communication, we're watching circuit orders, our MSX orders, um, any t voice orders and we're making sure that we're partnering with the agent channel the agent himself him or herself right. to ensure that we are providing the customer with exactly what's needed yeah so you're an extra layer if you will exactly on top of you know taking care of that customer and doing the you know making sure TPX make sure that the pre-sale goes well the the installation goes well the post sale goes well and you're the one that makes sure that no one ever has a problem correct team, right yes yeah. so we're we're in the weeds constantly um you know i think at some companies you would think as a director just kind of oversees a department yeah um here at tpx because i've been here for so long right i mean I, we're in the weeds daily right so there's no job that you know we're not going to oversee we're not going to look at um, we're gonna roll up our sleeves and make it happen. And if that's turning up circuits, escalating, being on cutovers, we'll take right. it. Right, that's know. one reason why I joined TPX is because I know when I was uh, the GM of Top Speed Data, we had 35 sales reps, and the amount of, of prevention that you guys do, you, you guys and gals do yes. for the customer, just makes it go well. We know we're gonna be successful. Or, we, they, knew they were gonna be <laughs> successful if it fit into your portfolio and we can turn that customer over to you. Right. You guys are exceptional yes. at what you do. Thank you. And, and one of the reasons yeah. why is you kinda, of, I mean this industry, like every year people change jobs. January 2nd, you checked on LinkedIn, I checked it you know, this week and everybody's saying, I hate to leave so and so, but I've got this great opportunity. Uh, so that happens everywhere in this industry, probably more than any other industry. You, know, you got Tom Brady being a free agent now, and you know tons of people in telecom. But you, you've been there. You've been at TPX, or and prior to that, Tele Pacific for twenty years, right? Yes, this is this 19... 1999. 99, so, yeah. This May it'll be twenty one years um, since I started, and so you're a real job hunter, the switcher person, aren't you? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I How mean, many job I... offers have you had? No, you don't have to answer that. <laughs> I have had several, but I'm so dedicated to our business. You know, I, I yeah. when I first started, we had around, I don't know, 18 people, I would say, and we sat in this conference room here in downtown LA, um, just down the street, and we would all report out on what we were responsible for at the time. And those, I would say more than half of those people are still with us. Wow. You know, namely Ken Bisnoff, who is our yeah. founding member, um, our vice president of facilities, Laura Dow, our vice president of um, customer care, Michael Dyer, uh, myself, uh, my vice president, Kim Harrison, joined us early 2000. Wow. Um, we worked with her. At that time, we sat around that small conference room table at COVAD, and we would call Kim and say, hey, we need this done, and she would make it happen. Wow. So when she came, to TPX, Tel Pacific at the time, we already knew. She does not take no for an answer. She was gonna make it happen, and that's our culture here at TPX. So you just find great athletes that are really dedicated to the customer, and you don't let them go, right? right. It's kind of the cool, it's a little bit in the Kool-Aid, <laughs> but 
Yeah, I mean, you probably have just a tremendous sense of job satisfaction going home knowing you did well for a customer. Absolutely. I mean, imagine that's a big part of pay, if you will, yeah, and staying at, staying at a good company. Yeah, and so. I think, you know, it keeps us on our toes. We're never not busy, which I think, you know, 50% of our sales come from our agents. Right. So they come from channel sales. So, you know, and growing not, and growing. Yeah, and especially this year. <laughs> yes. And we welcome that. So, you know, with that growth, I mean, we we also do advisory boards every year. You know, we invite our top um, master agents and we, we want to hear that feedback. You know, how are we doing? How can yeah. we improve? And, you know, year after year, you know, it gets better and better. But that doesn't to us. It's not doesn't fully satisfy us because we know there's still room for growth. Yeah. School's never out for the pros, so there's yeah. always more to learn. Kind of the old book I read in the 70s on, um, I think it was Japanese manufacturing called Kaizen, Continual Improvement. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. So let, let, I always close the videos with something personal, but not too personal <laughs> about you. And before we went on the air, you were telling me that, you know, you're kind of this rugged gal, you got the big, you know, F850 <laughs> truck and, you go fishing all the time and camping in Montana and blah, yep. blah, blah. But you also were telling me how proud you are of your, your two kids. My children, yes. Yeah. So my son uh, just finished serving uh, in the U.S. Navy. He was stationed in Japan wow. for a year and a half. And then he came back to San Diego. Um, and he's doing well. He's going to finish school. Uh, my daughter, is um, she played water polo and swim in high school college wow. and now she's a LA County lifeguard so I so if you can't swim come down to LA County <laughs> and your daughter what's her name Jessie that's my wife's name Jessie yes. will will save you she sure will <laughs> well it's been great having you on the show today thank, thank you, you very for much for your time me. okay and thanks for watching thank you